The stranger than the spooky, adventurous and loony, they're all together ooky, the bug family. Their trips are amazing, when people come to see them, they really are amazing, the bug family. History Ghost Art So put on a witch's shawl on, a seat so you can relax on, we're gonna play a call on the Bug Family. Alright, Nebraska Top Town, whatever that means. Tourist Administration Museum of uh, several buildings. Benefit the museum, drawing eight to something. Lottery tickets are $20. Not that I want a lottery ticket. Oh boy. I don't know that my legs are this big. <laughs> Oi! All right. It is almost Halloween. It is also Monday. But Mondays. I have no idea what video this is because I have not downloaded it yet. Uh, but I wanted to get this shout out done before I head into work. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Shout out time. Here's your shout out just for you. You support me, so I support you. This shout out is for our friends. Let's see who it is today. Oh yeah, did I mention? This is a zombie race. They're all going to be zombies. Brian's, Brian's, I buy a Brian's like a borrow. Alright, zombies. There we go. Off we go. Let's see, we got She Stole. There's Cheap. There's Richard. There's Grizzla. There's Glitter. There's sea tripping, there's faces, there's cable, there's lower, there's Neil, Nikki and Happy, there's we go, there's Lainey, Zol, Susan, uh, Chris, Praying, Ion, Debbie, uh, Digging, Bluegrass, uh, let's see who else do we see? There's Rye. Uh, whoa. Jeez. Should have came from the back really fast. That was fast. Holy cow. There's Blended. Uh, there's Cow King. There's Matt and Becky. Or Becca, excuse me. And it's going to be Neil. Hold on. Now, technically, we have two Neils that I know of. One Neil changed his name. And I don't think he's ever posted a comment. So I'm going to go with the other Neil, and if I'm incorrect, um, I will put the other Neil in the race, or I won't take Neil out of the race, I guess I should say, since I only usually put one name in the race, because, you know, I'm lazy. Hang on, here we go. Okay, so this is Neil, and I'm not even going to try the last name, and he likes traveling, meeting new people, and going off the beaten track. We do that a lot. And so we got a shopping center, we got some street... Uh, train trip, which is always fun. So he's a traveler. I got some shorts, which are, well, I was going to say mostly food, but random food and other things. And then he's got some lies, but those are not really current, but it could be interesting. I see a cathedral, so check those out. But Neil, like, share, comment, and be prepared. We're doing something on Thursday. Oh, you knew that. We're doing something on Tuesday. Tomorrow, we're doing cookies. And before now and then, enjoy this uh, video. Have a good day. I only have about 26 books in my, my historical collection. My husband's a slight historian. <laughs> slight. Exactly. Yeah. Right. The top one is the floor, the one that we look through, mm -hmm. to show people. The bottom, the ones that we sell are... In that class. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, my, uh, Ooh. my mom was, uh, raised in both Crawford and Shattered. Uh, you can blame all this on the pandemic because I started working for the census in 1999. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it, yeah, find the guest book. 
That's a neat church, though. I yeah. like that. It was built in 1887. It's, it's a great little building. Yeah, it is. And then, uh, of course, then there's the war bonnet uh, monument up on the hillside. We didn't go up that far because, A, the gate was closed, and B, we only have a front-wheel drive car. So we didn't want to, you know, risk it too much, but... Oh. If you want to see something about that, about those monuments, I'll show you. Okay. Back there, is the church right there? And right there. Right there. <laughs> yes. Did you pick one of these up um, wow. when you were out there? <laughs> I don't I make, think so. I don't think so. I didn't think. I make those. I know that you believe. <laughs> Hopefully, follow the leader. Yeah, there's more people coming. coming. There's some people. We'll go straight. Not just down the sidewalk. Okay. The little schoolhouse. This building was our first building. Uh huh. The old Harrison Sun newspaper office. Ooh. And uh, now it's set up as a museum. In two years, we will have had that fish for 50 years. Wow. And this building, what came next, so this is, um, was 12 miles southeast of here. It's called the Log Cabin School. You can see over there, there used to be another door, so there was a girl's entrance and coat room. And a boy's entrance in Colorado. Oh, that's new. Can't have them entering the same door. Oh, heck no. The boys might pull the girls in. <laughs> <laughs> Yankee, Yankee. Or vice versa. What do you mean you pull all you see? Oh. Careful. It's hard to see in here. Until your eyes get used to it. So this picture, which is hard to see, shows the original log house, which is why it's called, it's got on logs, which is why it's called wow. Log Town School, and this building replaced it. Very cool. Oh, wow. So we have 1880 school date in the fall here, and the, and the fourth graders come here and we have class here. <laughs> That's cool. A couple of things to call your attention to. We have, well, the stage. We have, um, not very many schools have a stage, and so we're lucky that we got one that has a stage. That's so organ, cool. We've got three more organs. This is called the Trip and Sea Planetarium, and it's patented in 1908, but it doesn't move. It's too fragile, but there's one in the new building that we can turn. That's so cool. The building we were just in. Wow. And this is the uh, globe is on a pulley system. That's fun. Oh, I've never seen that. That's fun. Okay, we officially, if we ever buy you a globe, we have to do that. <laughs> we'll probably break it or ourselves, but you know, that's cool. I officially want one of those. Hey, look, koala bear. Hi, koala bear. Well, that's the uh, video library here, too. What? Why? No. I don't believe you. Looks nice. Don't mind us. We're a bit odd. Oh, look at the little house. That's yeah, so cool. That's there were some country school kids that built that little house. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. Got the old uh, view picture things. Yeah. With Dick and Jane. Oh, wow. Tom Swift. When, uh, when in August did they do the fourth grade thing? Uh, we do it toward the end after the kids go back to school. Okay. We can't wait too late because there's no heat in this building and it gets chilly in the morning. Right. <laughs> That's understandable. It's kind of cool that you still use it occasionally, though, give them a feel of the history. Uh -huh. I think a lot of places need to make history more interactive because it makes it more interesting than just reading about it. Mm -hmm, it does. That's 
so cool. They got a different uh, bell for every class, right? Uh, something like that. You know, one of the books I've been reading at our uh, library up there in Rapidan, the teachers were taking ride horses to the schools, and sometimes they'd wind up having to camp there for a week or two. Because <laughs> weather is wonderful. Yeah. You have roads? What are roads? Oh, there, there's my other group. <laughs> oh, cool. Hi. You want to come follow us this way? Huh? Would you like to come follow us over here? <laughs> Historians assemble. And then we'll go back there. Oh dear. <laughs> Hi. As long as I'm taking folks to buildings, you might as well do these and then come back to these others. And I'll give you a heads up. Um, I'm gonna ha I won't close the museum, but I have to leave for a few minutes to um, do this satellite is going to come to my house. Ah. This is only two blocks away. If you want to take a quick picture, peek in the schoolhouse, you can. Okay. And then we're going over to the post office next, which is right over here. Oh, cool. Double doors. We'll see the block we Harrison's original post office. And it was <laughs> up and across the street. It was moved on the same truck that brought the schoolhouse here. Very cool. And it was our the third building that we acquired. So this was in, in it was built in 1905 and used until 1938. Hmm. And um, let's see, it was probably about 1980 when we got the building. And the original post office equipment is toward the front of the building. We just come in back here because it's convenient to go to everything from back here. Right. And then um, we had extra room. So there's a country store display on that side and, and a barbershop and beauty shop display on this side. Oh, interesting. Cool. I'll let you go in first and I'll explain the building. Yeah, so the this building is when I when I leave the Oh wow. Oh there's a rusty bathtub. <laughs> wow. So much stuff. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, they are pulling. I thought it would be the school they hit me, but no, of course not. That would be predictable. <laughs> like the little basket. Yeah, the train's cool. Oh yes, the dangers of women's beauty in the 1800s. Oh, weird. Oh, sorry, babes. Oh, look at the stamps, babes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you scroll top desk. Oh, wow. Can't sneak around this building. Orola Post Office. Map noises. So cool. When do we get in trouble when we're left unattended? So we could uh, send that off. Then you got your mail numbers to take and uh, identify. 
Did you get a picture of the uh, post office sign? Right there. What do you suppose that was for? Not sure. Any ideas, guys? Excuse me. It is definitely. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. cool is the uh, the three different scales they have for the way the packages. Right. Yeah. With the twenty pounder still attached to the back. Every <laughs> museum has the deadly head uh, beauty products for women. <laughs> everyone. Well, I shouldn't say everyone, but most of them. And next door, I've got some people that donated this um, dining set. That's when we walk into the door of the uh -huh. next building. So they're over there looking around. So we've got that building open there too. Wow. This is called the Holtz House because that's the name of the people that donated it to us. And it was built also in 1905, just oh. like the post office. And you can see it has a carriage house out behind. Cool. And but this was not moved. This was built right here. Oh, I love old houses. <laughs> Joe, those old schools. I love old houses. Give me an old house any day. Uh -huh. So many vibes. So we enter into the dining room. The kitchen is beyond, and to the left is the parlor. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Certificate too. And, and people always say they don't make them like that. Nope. They're, <laughs> they're beautiful like that. No, when we brought the table and chairs up, I knew like two or three weeks later I was uh -huh. going through the house. There's that. I said, that. Yeah, I said, <laughs> and there it is, right yep. where people see it. Yep. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yep. He homesteaded the ranch out there in 1886. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So cool. I think everything is hopefully the way you like it, and I'm sure it's the way Jerry would like it, too. Well, I'm sure she would. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's so cool. I'll get out of your room. Yeah. Oh, wow. This was a nice table for Jerry. Yeah, very nice. You remember my name is Jill, right? Yeah, Jill. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 He came out in the summer, Tommy was a second grade day graduate from high school. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, Dr. Price's phosphate baking powder. <laughs> it doesn't move. So cool. So cool. You know, in the other buildings, do you have that Sioux County history book, the yes. one that you had sold? Yes. Where would it be that I could look at it to find where I could buy it? Oh, cool. We can sell it. 
Oh, you got some here? We've got some right here to sell. Okay. Look at that big book, I've also baby. Got an open copy mm. that you can just look at. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Oh, wow. <laughs> no problem. Oh, wow. So pretty. It almost looks comfortable, unlike most old furniture. Hey, baby, you got your hat. <laughs> This shawl, eighteen ninety four. Wow! Look at the hats. I'd love to find you a hat like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or how about the stereo? The stereo is cool. We've seen a few like that. Yeah. Look at the books. Autographs. Oh, wow. Oh, so cool. Oh, wow. You guys are going to get tired of me here sitting in a while, but I can't help it. That's so cool. Used to be a telephone right there. Uh, if you have a problem finding a hat, there's another sorting in here. Yeah, I know. I saw those. And there's also a uh, trap door. Or, uh, attic, attic, attic access. Attic. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that any of these are my style. I might be able to wear it with that one. That one's kind of interesting. What do you guys think? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I could probably step into it, but I won't be able to close it. Yeah. Milk a can. Telegraph. Office closed. Public telephone. 1818 January. Did a good job of sending this up. I know it's weird, but I love this carpet. Just because it's not like a style you expect. Right. And it's not like ugly or boring. The bright blue is definitely vibrant. Yeah, that's just... I love being able to get into buildings like this. Yarn mixlers. I like that top half there. Huh. A map. I saw the map. Watch the lady sell out of books because I saw she had two. Yeah. <laughs> and if they both buy one, we might have to come back. The horrors. The horrors. How would they ever deal with this? You know? Doesn't look like we can get to the carriage house just yet. Yeah. Yeah. Should we wait for her? Uh, we can head back up to that first building. And okay. Because I want to see. I think we can see this one. I don't know about the carriage house, but I know we can probably see that one. She wants somebody that got carried, called away, so might yeah. sit for a bit.
like this but our historical society sends one letter a year telling about some of the activities at the Ooh. there's a historical track yeah. <laughs> track not yeah. track I can read words <laughs> yep, and we're already taking people to sign up for it we're going to visit old houses in Sioux County this year Oh, how can we not sign up for that? <laughs> Timing is it's next Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday's the picnic. Uh, the when's track, the, the will that will be uh, early September? That's oh, okay. we haven't set a date yet. Okay, we'll have to find a date, babe. Yeah, I think we can clear up our calendar a little bit. No. <laughs> oh, look at the hearse. Oh. Hey, babe, you want to be sent out? Tell me that doesn't look like Santa's yeah, sleigh. Santa's sleigh. Yeah. Okay, you have to. It's, you know. <laughs> what, did it it's all locked up. Couldn't get in. Well, I would love to see one of these corner pieces. Yeah. yeah. Neuroland management. I got Yeah, we definitely have to keep an eye out for that. Oh, babes. Big map noises. Big map noises. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, wow, that's a chair. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see those maps. Hang on. I am coming. I did not see those map noises. Oh, there's map noises here, too, which I somehow did not see. Oh, the census. Water tower. Roller display. If you fold that, I can put it in my pocket with the others. Hold it one more time. Then I'll tuck it in my pocket with the others. Thank you. Because, yeah, uh, truck noises. That is a thing we have to do. Yeah, I saw the hearse. Isn't that cool?
boys Guys. Queen of the world. See, world. Have we been there? Yeah. Oh, those are pretty. <laughs> Look at those. Little pins of sorts. Those are so pretty. They're all, all like different hearts. <laughs> They're so pretty. Well, that one's on a heart. That's a eagle. So pretty. You know, they be proud of their uh, traditions. What can you say? Now? Right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, here's your boys. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, they got a little stove for heating stuff. Radios, typewriters, adding machine. And a big desk there. Oh, there's other rooms I want to see. Okay. Well then. <laughs> well, we're going on. Now let's see what's in there. Uh -oh. Something in there. Yeah, this is where their uh, historical society used to be set up and then they moved across the road. Oh, well, maybe. So we've been in that building, that building. Nope, not that one yet. Looks like the doors already open for that one. Yep. Not the marks. Just a few brands of Sioux County, right? Oh, Just a few rattles there. Mount noises. Oh, 
answer a bottle question. <laughs> Bottle of Vaseline. Oh, wow. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> He's still working on my dish. <laughs> that always takes a little bit, depending upon what you need done. Right. Well, I hope he's going to go fix it because it's old, but I like it better than something new. The, uh, the thing we find funny is uh, I've been to Rochford a couple times. Uh -huh. Getting signal into there is not easy. No. Because literally, A, you either have to put it on a very tall pole mm -hmm. and aim it out of the canyon, or hope that somehow they have installed underground cabling. Yeah. I'd rather really work on that, though, because the, uh, that new mining company that's up there is supposed to be trying to be modernized, and I'm like, Two-way street. Right. <laughs> your your guys' town is amazing, so I cannot believe yeah. all the stuff. Yeah. Of course, wow. the, the thing I find funny is, uh, again, we, we go and find museums. Uh -huh. Some places will charge you an arm and a leg to get in, and they suck. But then, like, we've been to, there's one in Fairburn. That one's a pain in the butt. Takes a little work, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Um, a the one at Hot Springs is pretty wild. The one at Custer is pretty wild. The best one, though, uh, that I've run across so far is the Duel. And it's, it's funny because you, you wouldn't even realize it's there except for the sign right next to the uh, City Hall. Oh, okay. It's one of those ones you have to actually like kind of look for. Right. But then it, it also got funny because uh, we wound up thinking, oh, we're going to only spend 30 minutes here, and we were there for three hours. <laughs> so, exactly. well, we'll try not to keep after four because. Oh, right. uh, this building was built in 1924, and you, um, it, for the Harrison Sun newspaper, the printing presses were down here. Mm -hmm. The Harrison Sun newspaper. Oh, wow. Before 1924, it was up and across the street in the next block. And that building uh, is now an artist studio. What was the uh, place with the car and the uh, the fire uh, assembly thing? Yeah, uh, yeah, the host car. Um, yeah, that was a that was a garage. There used to be a gas pump outside of it. Before that, it was something else. There was a bakery in the basement at one point. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. The old oven and, or stove, the old range is still in the basement. Oh, that's so oh. cool. I'd love to see that. That's so cool. It's not safe to go down there, though. <laughs> Understand. There's one town up in South Dakota, and it's, I mean, all that's left is like one half of one building. Mm -hmm. There's a place called Sulphur. Mm -hmm. And in its heyday, it, it had a church, it had a saloon, it had a land office, it had just all sorts of buildings. And then this town was built on the old Bismarck to Denver line, oh. the stagecoach line. Well, then when people started coming through and settling, they, you know, they'd check in there, they'd find out where their land was, they try to make it proof for five years, but uh, what wound up killing most of the town off was the guy that ran the saloon and found out about Prohibition was going to kick off. So he bought a bunch of his beer, got drunk, and set fire to the saloon, and most of the town went up the But what was interesting was this uh, building, it's still standing, but uh, it was a dance hall. It was their post office. It was a regular house. Uh, it's got a basement. You can see the stairwell that goes down into it. But uh, I guess it had a gas pump out in front of it, too. And uh, for its historical reference, the first guy to ever be put to death in South Dakota robbed that station. Oh. He hooked up for gas and then ran off without paying for it. And the guy inside came running up to stop him. And he wound up running off to a place, uh, holed up in the winter for a couple of weeks, and then took off towards Wyoming and killed uh, two uh, lawmen. So they dragged his butt back to South Dakota. And 
I guess they even had to borrow the chair from, I think, Indiana or something like that, because we didn't know how to put anybody to death except shoot him. So, yeah, to, to get the first electric chair. So you still got copies of that book over there, right? Yeah. Do you guys take plastic, though? No plastic. Oh, darn. I'll have to stop at an ATM, then. We'll take a check, and we'll get cash. Okay. Is there any ATMs in the sound you want? Oh, well, yeah, there's, well, there's supposed to be one in the bank upstairs, and that bank lobby is never locked, and I understand that it's locked today. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the good news. We're probably definitely we'll going to be back, back here in, in August for your drive around and then that thing in September too because yeah this place has just been straight out awesome plus you're going to wind up on the internet so mm -hmm. we're sorry no we're not company, but no we're not it's and these people from Australia they're like oh it's so cool out there I'm like I know that's why we live out here I don't, I don't know, know about that one. <laughs> I don't want to live in New York or London or any of those big cities.